So I got called out on this bee removal slash swarm removal from the guy and he said they're going in and out of the water meter a bunch but there's also two clumps of them in the driveway which is really weird. He said two little spots so I thought okay two little spots are disoriented whatever. I said man to have them in three different spots they must have had probably at least one extra queen and until they knock off the extra queens they're going to be all disoriented. Well <laughs> they're still pancaked out. They still haven't figured it out but what we got right here is the remains of one queen, her abdomen. I don't know where the rest of her's at, but they, they've certainly taken care of that one. And uh, I'm looking over in this pile, and I don't see, I don't see them balling anywhere like they're balling a queen. So that's really interesting. These, these may have already taken care of their queen too, and and flowing the dead carcass away. I'm not really sure. They're, they're not balling up tight on anything, but uh, certainly an odd one. This is just like a sort of, I would say, be apocalypse, but they're not dead. It's just crazy how they're all... No, that's another little worker. It's crazy that they're spread out in two very large pancakes. They must have had at least two queens, um, which I only have one box. I imagine they all came from the same swarm. I can't imagine it's three unique swarms that all decided to come here for some reason. Um, <clears throat> but let me go inside and check in with the homeowner, let him know I'm here at least, and we'll start trying to get these ushered together into a box, and then we'll pull the lid off the uh, water meter here and see what's inside there too. Well, that's easy enough. That ought to be at least one of those clumps captured. That is ridiculous. Look at this march. That is a great march. I did nothing. I just set the box there. Notice how this one's not moving towards it yet. Maybe they just haven't noticed it, but these girls are definitely happy to see it, and um... The only thing in there for bait is a couple frames and uh, one new frame and a new piece of foundation in it. So I guess they like to smell that. Maybe the box has been, got, hell, it's got dead bees in the bottom of it there. But they're sure running to it and running running into it. We'll see if these start to merge up with them. And uh, shoot, with all these in, we'll see if there's even space to put the ones out of the meter in there or what I'm going to have to do. It's I set that box there at one twenty seconds and they're, they've all run into that one. So let's see if these girls start moving to it too. That'd make me real happy. All right, one more thing. This is uh, the rest for the police report. This is the head of the queen that was in this pile here. The abdomen, as I showed you, was in the pile that was over here, and now they've moved. And I don't know what they did with their abdomen. I can't find the. I can't find the the, the spare queen. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the spare abdomen here. Let's put her head back with her abdomen. Maybe if they have a head and an abdomen, they'll be happy to. I think they've done a good job to kill the queen, but. That's why they were spread out. One half had the head, the other one had the abdomen. <laughs> At least I think anyway. I don't see them. I don't see them balled up on any other queen. Woo! They're getting testy. Woo! They're mad because I took their dead queen. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go get the homeowner and let him know I'm here. They get it all narrowed down just to one queen. So. Well, here you go, folks. There's March part two. They just started running here right before our eyes. I'm talking to the homeowner telling him what happened with the, with the multiple queen issue. And they finally decided they wanted to go to the box. So... The rest of these here will run into the box in just a minute, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the water meter pulled open and see what's inside there, too. Oh, and we found out where this worm came from. He's got an existing colony up here in his soffits, so at least we have some little science done. All right, so we'll count this as a double update. I uh, <clears throat> forgot to make a wrap-up video when I left from the job when I got this swarm here tonight. Um, but it turned out there weren't actually any bees in the water meter. I opened the water meter. I don't know why my camera won't focus. There it goes. I opened the water meter and it was actually empty. So those two pancakes that were on the driveway were all there was. Now the one had the queen's head, the other one had the queen's abdomen. I did not see a live queen amongst those two. I was assuming she'd be in the water meter, but again, then it was empty. So either this swarm, which is actually a good sized swarm when you put both pancakes together, either it's queenless or they have another queen that I just didn't see. What I did was the, the swarm that I caught on the tree the other night was set up in this box here, right beside the tree. Let's see. Well, where's my light? Well, anyway, there's the tree right behind. There you go. There's my tree where I caught the swarm. They were sitting here, and the majority of the bees has left, except for pretty much these. It's all left of that swarm. But the queen is still in the cage. I still got the queen. So I've taken her and I moved her in her cage into this box. So if they're queenless, they'll be able to use her and take advantage of her. I mean, these bees, as they were, they're not going to make it. They're just withering away. They would have eventually all left and left her to starve to death in the cage. So it's actually kind of good fate that um, 
that we found this queen or that we that we that I got called on this swarm tonight when I did because I needed a place to go with this queen that I had in this other swarm that's the swarm's leaving on them, you know. Um, anyway, that's a little wrap up on this one. So hopefully, hopefully I hang on to these because it's a decent sized swarm, better than the last two that I've got. Um, and you know, I'd sure love to keep them. So here's to here's to hoping and seeing if I can get them set up in a box that they actually like and I'll stay in. They sure ran to this box like they wanted it, so hopefully they'll stay.